Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over and above Microsoft rolling out their first optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 21H2 for this year. We also get our first optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which Microsoft also made available on the 19th of January, which was yesterday in my region. Now the update KB5019275 is available for Windows 10 versions 22H2, 21H2 and 20H2 and um, the update is an optional update. So as I always do say with optional updates, only install them if you are experiencing any issues with your system. Now the update does include two new improvements over and above a couple of bug fixes which we will get into shortly. And the first new improvement uh, is very similar to what rolled out for Windows 11 where um, the update displays storage alerts for Microsoft OneDrive subscribers on the systems page in the settings app and these alerts will appear when you are close to your storage limit. Now um, obviously um, I do use and, and um, I am subscribed to um, Microsoft OneDrive but um, I haven't reached my storage limit yet so at this stage I can't actually show you that because those alerts will only appear um, when you are close to your storage limit but over and above that I'm not seeing any physical evidence of any um, OneDrive storage alerts that I can see in these settings app. So obviously that's only going to display when you reach your storage limit as mentioned. And then just to mention the other new improvement, the update addresses an issue that affects cached fast identity online 2.0 authentication data. Um, according to Microsoft, with that, the first attempt to sign in fails and the second attempt to sign in succeeds. So if you did experience that issue, that has been addressed now in this update. Now, um, there is quite an important um, bug fix that has rolled out regarding the news and interests feed, which addresses an issue that might affect uh, the news and interests, which might cause a flickering on the taskbar. So it might cause your taskbar to flicker and also the file explorer to stop responding and freeze and then basically crash. So if you did experience that issue where the file explorer was freezing and crashing, the taskbar was flickering, when you use news and interests, then that bug has been addressed, which was an, was an important one. So finally been addressed now by Microsoft. Now um, to go through some of the other bug fixes as this is a non-security update, which does include quality improvements. Um, the update addresses an issue that might occur when the input method editor is active and this was caused apparently when users were um, using a mouse and keyboard at the same time so that's been addressed and uh, the task view apparently was causing some issues as well which is found um, on the taskbar and was apparently causing an issue that occurred when uh, you open the task view and uh, it caused the desktop to stop responding so if you did experience a task view issue with the desktop responding when you opened it. That issue has also been addressed now with this update. And um, very similar to what rolled out for Windows 11 21H2, addresses an issue that damages your physical memory. And I think this is quite an important one. And that was caused by certain HD audio controller hardware. So that, if you did experience any physical damage to your RAM, has now been addressed. And also the same rolled out for Windows 11. Um, they the, uh, the update addresses an issue that was affecting certain systems with TPM, that's the Trusted Platform Module. So if you do have a Windows 10 device that does have a TPM chip, um, that issue has been addressed where um, for certain users, um, uh, it's, the issue stops you from using Autopilot to set up those systems. So that's now been finally addressed. And also the update addresses an issue that affects printing in landscape mode in Microsoft Edge. And um, that's basically the key highlights I would suggest for this update, 5019275. And uh, if you do decide to install the update, if we just head over to Winver quickly about Windows. Uh, the OS build now for Windows 10 version 22H2, which is the latest stable release, will be bumped up to OS build 19045.2546. Uh, the point release stays exactly the same for Windows 10 version 21H2, which will be 19044. And if you are still using Windows 10 20H2, that'll be 19042. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.